The Nile extends through some of the most arid terrain in earth, like a green arrow shooting at the Mediterranean. And at the top is the triangle of the Egyptian delta. This is the flower of the ancient Egyptian lotus. Fertile, easily irrigated land that sustained ancient Egyptian civilization and then later civilizations for over 3,000 years. It may be news to you to know that 15,000 years ago, when sea levels were much lower, the Nile was not a sluggish river. It was a fast flowing river that flowed through deep gorges. But then as sea levels rose, the river slowed and ponded and started depositing silt from the annual flood in early summer onto the delta, forming a magnificent, highly fertile floodplain, which was the granary of Egypt for thousands of years. But then something happened. And here I'm just going to jump a little bit ahead. Imagine an era like today when sea levels are rising. Up at the top, you can see a half meter rise. Notice the blue on the left around Alexandria. Notice that the barrier islands have been flooded. Then look here at a million, a meter. Look at the amount of water that is now encroaching on the land. And the effects of this are catastrophic, especially in an era with four and a half million people or more, or six million if you count in Cairo, and the amount of land lost is about 4,500 square kilometers of farmland. Now the stakes are high in a world where cities like Alexandria are teeming with people. With the Aswan Dam, the fertile lands of the delta didn't receive anything like the water or the silt they had. And in fact, the effects of this has been that the erosion of rising sea levels and erosion of coastal marshlands and other protective islands has been far more severe than it would have been if there had been still natural flooding. Add to this another complication. Up in the top right, is Alexandria in the mid-early 19th century. A mere village, an important port, but a village. Down at the bottom is Alexandria today. Dense population, appalling poverty, slums, disease, and almost certainly in the future, chronic food shortages because of the ruination of agricultural land in the delta. This, in the long run, is a far more severe problem than any disorder dealing with Muslims and government. Because what Egypt needs more than anything else is long-term planning and the stability to make decisions and carry them out to ensure that hunger is not a problem. Egypt, in terms of sea levels, is a bomb waiting to go off.